Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th. Now uh, we will see what comes up, just take what, what resonates and leave the rest. This isn't a private reading, okay? Um, I have pre-shuffled this deck so whatever falls out I'm going to lay out and I forgot to zoom in the camera on the general reading so I don't even know what that looks like yet but hopefully I remember this time. Now, this is a love reading, remember? Okay. So, this, the base of the reading, or the, whatever the word is, my mind has gone blank. Um, the, the basis of the reading is the Six of Wands. It, it feels like there's some kind of victory, okay? There's some kind of victory. Whether it's in love or not, we will find out. It's, there's, it's, there's some kind of... Um, progress you're making progress we have a, there's a lot of repeating cards here okay there is it there's you're you're making progress against with something okay that is making you very happy okay because we have the sun card here we did have the chariot and the other one and it was reversed we also had the king of pentacles but it was reversed we had the page of cups it was upright um Anyhow, it feel, you guys, I can see that you guys are, are some heavy burdens are being lifted, okay? Maybe you're de you've been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could have been a Capricorn. Um, we also have Aries here, so you could, or Leo, so you could have been dealing with any one of those people. There's definitely a lot of players here. So perhaps um, there's a loss of control. Things are, there's, somebody is, um, becoming free becoming free of something that they were bound to and it's a huge relief so i think that many of you are actually becoming free from somebody maybe you thought it was love i don't know i mean i'm considering the last reading i just did even though it was a general reading as well it feels to me like you guys are are there's been some kind of loss there's been some kind of loss that where there's some hurt you know, there's a, there's a loss up here. The other one, we have the Three of Swords. I mean, and here we have the Five of Cups. It's like there's been some kind of loss, and I think it's a loss of control or loss of a commitment, loss of a connection, something. Something it has is still not where you wanted it to be, okay? There's, there's no forward movement there. And it's like there's been a drop in status of some sort, you know, there's the status quo, you know, there's no increase in that, that's for sure. It feels like there's, somebody is letting go of something that they just can't carry anymore. And because it didn't turn out the way they'd hoped, it didn't turn out to be uh, forever or something like that, something like that. Um, but it's a huge relief. It's, it brings the happiness that you've been seeking because you let it go. This personal freedom comes about when these, when this bond breaks, this, this, this personal freedom is like great. You know, you, 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 um, where you were feeling, um, discontent and, um, stuck. It's like you're no longer stuck. You know, you can now you can move forward because I feel like the the times of being stuck of things trying to keep things under control are over. It's out of your hands. It's like something has happened to get you unstuck. Let's get some clarifiers. Let's clarify this uh, six of swords reversed. What is this six? Of, oh, jeez. Of course, it goes flying. Don't you know it? Fly away, fly away. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm still dropping it. Okay. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <coughs> All right. So it, it looks to me like some truth is coming out. Some Something is coming out. Some words are being spoken or some completion, something like that. Somebody is speaking up, speaking their mind. Um, 
and this is Tor. Did I say already? We already have. I, said, I cannot talk today worth of shit. But anyway, it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, right next to that Aries. There's some kind of controlling behavior that's going away. It's like somebody has been trying to control you or a situation, and they're the there's a loss of control. Do you know what I mean? It's like all of a sudden the control's out the window. You're no longer in control because you're in control. Do you know what I mean? The con it's like a control shift. It's like you thought you were in control, but you're not really in control. I'm the one that's in control. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's like a, there's been some kind of power struggles here, and I feel like they're, it's over now. No more power struggles. I think there's they're like going away. You've been stuck. There's been some instabilities. And I think that there was some kind of status quo, you know, that somebody was trying to live up to a status quo, which is no long, it's like void. You don't need to do that anymore. It's like, this is broken down and we don't have to, we don't, it doesn't matter what anybody thinks anymore. This is, this is where we're at. The truth is here. We're no longer connected. That's the way it is. There's, there's like a loss of connection, which brings happiness. I don't see new love coming in, if that's what you guys are looking for. I think right now, many of you are stuck with the past. And perhaps this week, you're making progress with letting it go. That's what I see. I'm not going to tell you new love's coming in if it ain't. You're watching the wrong girl if you're looking for that. I'm only going to tell you what I see, and I don't see any new love come in. I see that you guys are working on making progress towards regaining back control in, of who you are and what you want and letting go of something that you were bound to um, falsely. You know, there was like a, a false soulmate or something. Or maybe this person was a soulmate and it just didn't work out. I don't know, but I see that you guys are going through a period of still working on letting that go. I mean, I'm not going to tell you new love is here to sweep you off your feet if it's not. Because it ain't. Um, I don't know what I did on my last readings. I did them a couple of days ago for the other signs. I already did. So I'm just going to go with whatever I think I need to do. Oh, I knew it too. Okay, the first two cards. This one is flirt, make the effort, and deceit. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Go ahead and do it. The bond has been broken, right? These, this must be for singles, right? If it's for couples, then go ahead and flirt with the person you're with and try to make it better. To make progress towards healing whatever fight you've been in. If you're coupled, go ahead. Make the effort. Flirt with the, flirt with your partner. You know, be playful with them. Let go of the need to control if you're coupled. If you're single, go ahead and flirt with somebody else. Do it. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. If you you want to, whoever it is that you're thinking about when I say flirt, whoever, whether it's somebody you've been with or somebody you haven't been with or whoever, the, the first person that comes to your mind. Do it. Now I'm going to read you this card. It's pretty deep. Okay? It is. It's deceit. That came up for a reason. Hidden tactics. Manipulation. There has definitely been some manipulation at play, whether it's you or the other person. Okay? In both of these cards. This and this one, and this one. There's been some manipulation in your life, whether it's you or somebody else. And this one. You have it. There's no doubt. This card comes as a warning that there may be some deception going on in your life. The person hiding behind the curtain is likely someone you know or deal with either personally or professionally. The duplicity could be regarding a personal issue, like someone spreading rumors or disrespecting you to others, or it could be a business matter where details are be being hidden or even manipulated. Be aware of what is going on in your life. The man behind the curtain is holding a bag of something valuable. So watch your money. 
and your good name. And make sure you have all the information you need to keep things honest and secure. A deeper layer of meaning may be that the deception is actually coming from within. Is there something that you're lying to yourself about? In this case, the bag of values may be holding things like self-esteem, happiness, and even leisure time. Whether it's about your life or yourself, remember that the universe has a hard time sending you honoring experiences if your energy is shrouded in self-deceit. So Pisces, I think this is a week of, of um, release, releasing. I'm going to read the affirmation that comes with that deceit card. I am honest with myself and others, and I attract great honesty, integrity, and support from the universe. Interesting. So for your love reading, I don't see new love trotting on in. I see you guys working on letting go or healing a present situation. Talk to you later.